Hey guys, happy holidays. Welcome back to the Baking Beauties channel. All right, welcome back. Um, we are gonna do a special holiday tutorial look for you. I'm gonna be doing Nicole's makeup. Um, we wanted to kind of do a traditional take on holiday makeup, so like a red lip. We wanted to do a little bit more of a berry tone and throw in a gold eyeshadow look. So if you're interested in watching that, um, just stay tuned. Okay. All right, so Nicole already has um, foundation on. Um, what are you wearing today, Nicole? I am wearing my favorite foundation, which is Lancome. The Lancome, is it lid tint? Uh, um, I believe so, yes. It's the 24 hour wear. And I'm gonna just contour and highlight her face using the Smashbox Shape Matters palette. Okay, so first we're just gonna contour her face, just to give her face a little bit of definition. I'm gonna be using this uh, stippling brush by Real Techniques. So this is going to give a really light application, so it's going to be a really natural contour. So for those of you that don't know how to contour, you're always going to want to start at the top of where the ear starts, and you're going to want to bring it down to where the eyeball would end. So you don't want to go past that. And you're going to want to push the product up towards the eye. a little bit of blush Okay, so for the eye look, um, I was gonna. I just started out with Anastasia Base One to highlight underneath the brow. I wanted to just define her brow and just give the look a little extra edge. I thought, just you know, it's the holidays, so spice it up a little. So yeah, so then I took just my flat edge brush there and just blended in the product underneath the brow, so it seamlessly um, just highlighted the brow and it wasn't an obvious line or streak and then I just did the same on the other side and again just blended that out um, next I am gonna be taking the Lorac Pro palette which if you haven't noticed is my favorite palette and I'm just gonna be running a little bit of the color called cream just under the brow and on the entire lid just to kind of mattify her lid and give it one wash of color I'm um, kind of just a base for the rest of the eyeshadows um, and I'm just using a regular um, blending brush after I washed the color cream over her lid, I then took a flat shader brush and picked up the color gold in the Rolorac Pro palette. And I'm just going to pack this on the lid as much as possible so I get it to the most pigmented um, pigmentation that I like. So as you can see, I'm just gently packing it onto the lid there until... and until I like it. And I just basically packed it right up until the crease. I didn't really go past the crease, just right up until the crease. So yeah, just continue to pack the color. As you can see, the gold really complements her skin tone. So after I pack the color, um, the gold color onto her lid, I'm just going to gently blend out the edges. 
as you can see so um so yeah so gently just blending out the edges of the gold trying to soften the look a little bit up into the crease i didn't put any additional eyeshadow on this brush it had a little bit of the cream color left over but i didn't add anything so once I blended that out to my liking, I took a little bit bigger um, Lux Crease brush and I'm just going to blend that out further, just soften it a little bit more. And as you can see, it kind of gave that two-tone effect just using one shadow, which I really thought was really beautiful. So next, I'm going to be taking a smaller crease brush. i show you the size difference. So it's the same type of brush with the tapered edge. It's just a little bit smaller. And I'm going to be dipping that brush into the color Espresso. This is going to be used to define the outer uh, V of the eye and just give a really good definition to the look and make that gold in the center really pop. Sorry, my brush wasn't <laughs> focusing there. So yeah, so I'm just going to put that right on the outer V, like I said, and just really circular in circular motions blend that shadow out until I like the look of it. In this process, you just want to add slowly a little bit at a time until you really like the look and how things are going. Um, I feel like less is always more, so you want to start out with less and just build up the color rather than putting way too much at once because it's harder to take away. So as you can see, I'm just blending on the outer V of her eye, and it's coming together really beautiful. I'm loving the look. And I'm just repeating that step on the other side of her eye, or her face, the other eye. And just again, blending out the shadows and making sure everything looks nice, soft, and natural. Then I took that flat shader brush again and I put some more of the gold and just repacked the gold onto the lid of the eye just for a little bit more vivid color. I thought it kind of lost a little bit of the color once we blended everything out, so just to just kind of refreshing that. Then I'm going to be adding um, some winged liner with an angled brush. This is the Inglot Gel Liner in 77. This is my favorite gel liner. It's just is so easy and beautiful and it glides on the eye. It's easy to work with and I just think it looks flawless. I decided to line her eye pretty close to the inner corner but really thin the first or closer I got to the inner corner of her eye and just repeating that step on the other side there making sure that the wings are matching up a good trick to get the wing perfectly is if you have your client open up your eye and look at them straight ahead and just make their bottom lash line follow up that would be the perfect wing As you can see there, I am just applying that winged liner right there. The product is just gliding on beautifully, and there is the eyes done. Really, really happy with the way this turned out. I actually did add a little bit with my flat shader brush, a little bit of that espresso underneath her eye on the outer edge. And then I also took a little bit of the gold and put it in the middle of the under... Um, the bottom lash line there. I just felt it needed a little bit more definition and to kind of make the whole look look really cohesive and it, I thought it really pulled it together. So yeah, so I'm just placing the gold like I said right there, just giving a little pop of color. And then I'm going to do it there on the other side. And then I just take uh, a little pencil brush and blend out those edges, making it look really soft and seamless. So, okay, so this is so far what we have going. We have the gold eye done, um, we got the face done, and now we're just going to add a lip. Um, and maybe we'll pack a little more blush on there. But basically, um, what I'm going to be using for her lip today is called um, Raspberry by Boutique. I found this little gem. Um actually at Sally's Beauty Supply. So it just looks like that, it's like a little pencil. And they're really easy 
to use and very pigmented and yeah and this is more of like a berry red all right so that is the berry lip done i'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more blush And any reds or berries are really going to complement gold. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and that you like the holiday look we put together for you. Um, crazy eyes over here. <laughs> um yeah so if you have any questions or anything everything will be down in um the bottom bar and if not leave a comment or question don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and write a comment and mm -hmm. happy holidays happy holidays we'll see you next week what we're gonna bake for you guys today is s'more uh, brownie